Today we're doing the math for the factory of the future. We have a hydrogen generator, 70% efficiency, then it sends the hydrogen to a methane generator, 55% efficiency. And I haven't really looked up the formula and necessary components for a glucose generator, but a glucose generator is also another brilliant idea for this setup. We're going to be using solar at 20% efficiency and this is going to be way more electricity than we need. So the math's done, I'm pretty confident that it's correct. We have only 10 megawatts here with eight hours of full sun. We might um, bump this up to 10, get 10 hours of full sun. Uh, we assume, I think we assume 100% power, so we'll go with eight. Number of megawatts, we might double it. So this changes our facility costs. Over here you see solar, CO2, the methane facilities will keep the same. These are big unknowns, I don't really know the answer to this. This is just estimates. So 1 million for hydrogen, 5 million for CO2, 2 million for methane. That's just estimates. We have our price per watt, 6 million for the solar panels. We have our hydrogen energy density, methane energy density. We have our total methane production per day. And then we have our total hydrogen production per day. And uh, we have hydrogen production per year, methane production per year. So we're looking at what is this five tons per day 4.2 tons per day it's actually right here <laughs> and this is our price per ton per methane which seems like a lot it seems like a lot for methane i could have swore methane was cheaper i guess it has very high energy density well, compared to hydrogen not really but half of that of hydrogen so this is our annual revenue for hydrogen and methane methane has way more demand so i guess it can commands a much higher price i mean i looked this up this is uh something i looked up so i don't know what to say let me double check that real quick okay i don't know where i got that 30 figure it seems like three was the actual number so this is 10 times lower we get our return on investment crushed maybe this is why no one's doing this 1.2 percent return on investment oof Let's switch to hydrogen production. The market for hydrogen is smaller though, so. Uh, hold on, let's do this. Switch to hydrogen. One, 1 1.7. Still not impressive. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Let's lower our solar costs. Let's say this is 2.5. That 1.9. We don't need the CO2 facility because we're doing hydrogen. 3%. We don't need a methane facility because we're not doing methane anymore. 
4%. That's not bad. That 1%, 1.5% is really something, something bad. No one's going to be interested in that. So I guess natural gas is just too cheap. This was a, this variable was so crucial, was so important. And uh, th this price did hit 10 in the last year, but it's trended back down to three. The general historic average is about three. So if it was 10, mm, then we could get maybe four and a half percent on investment instead of the one and a half percent. But uh, yeah, that's how the math is looking. I hope you enjoyed this overview. It looks like for now hydrogen is the better bet until natural gas, the price of natural gas goes up. There's so much more demand for natural gas though, there's so much more liquidity and volume. Hydrogen is a much smaller market so it's harder to sell I would assume. But you do make more money for hydrogen because you need less facilities. Or it's, it's a better bet because the facilities are less and cheaper and all that stuff. It's more difficult to make methane and methane is cheaper. And, and you have to do two steps. So hydrogen has one step, methane has two steps. And the second step is only 55% efficient. So this is why hydrogen is a better bet for now. Until we get that methane price up through scarcity. <laughs> Maybe some shortages, who knows. No, nah, I don't think shortages are coming anytime soon, but maybe a little bit of scarcity, a little bit of inflation. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. A single hydrogen factory is more powerful than 1,000 dead-end careers. Yeah.